about five or six weeks ago, the governor asked, no, he didn't ask me, he told me that I was going to be the Secretary of Transportation. We immediately got Chili Riston, and the governor told us, fix the damn roads. And we ask you guys to then go and fix the roads. Today, you have done a fantastic job, and I thank you for that. And today, I have the honor of introducing to you my friend, the governor of this state, Jim Justice. Y'all probably had a long day, and you don't need to let me hold your day up, but uh, I just thought, you know, I really am honored to be able to come by, have my wife Kathy, you know, uh, we've just been running, doing everything under the sun, and it's an honor for me to come. Now let me tell you just this, here's the straight skinny, I'm not a politician. I'm just not. You're not going to ever hear any fancy talk from me, and I'll challenge anybody in this room to ever find something that I tell you is not the truth. Now, I make mistakes, and you know, and we, we change and we move on down the road, but I'm not going to tell you anything but, just, anything but the truth. Now, the truth is just this. Along the way, in highways, you don't realize probably the magnitude of what you do. But really, when I took the job, on the first day, they handed me the books. Now, I'm a business guy. you got to at least give me that. And I'll promise you, when they hand you the books and you look at a company that is dead, flat, bankrupt, well, that's us. Anyway, you can. I don't care what anybody says. We already drained rainy day to the point in time where our bonds were being derated. We had taken all the low-hanging fruit. We had a cut budget for six straight years. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? More people are leaving the state every day. More families are becoming dysfunctional because they're absolutely, their, their family members are scattered out all over the God's green earth. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, what we ended up deciding to do was you, at the end of the day, the very thing that has pulled us out of the entire mess was the roads to prosperity. That's where it started. The next thing that happened is it helped change our image. The next thing, we made a real commitment to education, our vets, and the elderly, and on and on and on. And before you know it, the numbers started to change. But to roast the prosperity, we had to come up with a way to create an instant job. I knew it. I knew it. An instant job. You can't level a parking lot or level a spot and hope that a factory is going to come. You had to create an instant job or we were gone. Well, the instant job was let all the roads. Let all the roads that you had on the books. Now, in doing so, we created a lot of work. More importantly, we created a focus from the outside world that we were changing. You. You did it. You turned this state around. That's all there is to it. At the end of the day, if you absolutely, on your way home, just think. Think of the people that are dependent upon you. Think of the people that were dependent really that would have died or moved away. You know, you, you changed this whole state. Now, with that being said, <clears throat> here's the deal. Then, all of a sudden, you become upon a crossroads because you're doing projects and you're employing people and you're absolutely spending money buying big gulps at the 7-Eleven, but the roads, the secondary roads, have been neglected for a long, long time. So we have to do something. We have to go back to a concept that you had forever, which was maintenance first. So, 
Not to beat up on Tom or anybody, you know, but I said, Tom, we have got to divert. You know, we got to do this. But Tom tried. A good man. A really good man. But at the end of the day, we kept not getting there. Now see, my dad would have always said, don't confuse effort with accomplishment. And we had to achieve. It kept being worse. And these roads didn't get in this condition in two years. These roads have been neglected for decades. And you know as well as I know that we sold off a bunch of our equipment. And for crime sakes of living, you're out there with a shovel trying to fix a road when your grade all has gone or whatever it may be. So the net of the whole thing is just this. We've got to put real focus back. So we had to make a change. So I leaned on a good buddy of mine that had a lot of experience and a lot of know-how, and he came along. And then right behind him, Jimmy Riston, who I absolutely dearly love because Jimmy is a hands-on, just down in the dirt, just exactly what I would have been all my life. You know, and I love it. Now, some of you may not, but I love it. Now, sure, he's going to make a bunch of mistakes, and so is Bert, and so, is, so am I. But then the next thing, we called everybody together, you. Called everybody together and said, okay, guys, we've got a real problem. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to list them all, first of all. Then we're going to prioritize all. And then we're going to go out trying to get it fixed. So that's what we've done. At the end of the day, and I, and I just read this real quick and everything, but it, it is totally amazing. This says, since March the 16th, you have pulled shoulders and ditches on 13,000 shoulder miles, ditched 2,200 road miles, replaced 169,000 feet of culvert and pipes, used 122,000 tons of rock, to stabilize the hillsides, used 22,000 tons of asphalt, and spent 2,500 additional employees' hours on other maintenance. You can see your progress. We still got a lot to do. There's no point in me telling you that we still don't have a lot to do. We are still looking anywhere and everywhere we can to try to uncover every dollar we can uncover and give it to you and say, you guys go do your job. Because I know just how good you men and women are. That's all there is to it. You know, when you unleash the power of great West Virginians, they do great stuff. Now, Bert was supposed to tell you, but I told Jimmy that, what did I tell you he'd forget? Did he forget it? <coughs> you tell him, Jimmy. This is the first conference that Governor Justice has attended that, that I always has held. So uh, it, it's very fitting that he picked this conference to attend. So uh, every, I think everybody should give him a really warm welcome just for picking the maintenance conference here and all our great highway workers. Let me end by just saying this. You know, Kathy, Kathy grew up in Prosperity, West Virginia, only child. I grew up, my grandparents never had indoor plumbing. There's nothing, there's nothing fancy about us. We've just worked really, really hard. And we believe in you. We do. We really, truly do. We love you. You may think, well, there's no way. There's no way. I would challenge you any day to find something that I'm not telling you the truth about. Why, if I'm that person, would I tell you this if I didn't believe it? I believe it with all in me. You are the best of the best of the best. You've always been that. It's impossible for you to run the race if we've got your leg tied up around your back. In all honesty, you have always been the best. I am really, really honored to be with you. I tell everybody all the time, all the time, 
to at least stop. Now, don't cause an accident. But for Christ's sake of living, blow the horn, wave out the window, yell out the window, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Now, if any of you knew could tell me a place where the turkeys are really gone, well, I'd really appreciate that right now. But, but nevertheless, uh, I'm going turkey out in the morning. That's all there is to it. But, uh, but anyway, I... Like I said, I can't thank Bird and Jimmy and every last one of y'all, Randy, just all of y'all so much for all you do. I know you want to go home, and I know you had to wait around here on me, and I apologize, but uh, from time to time, they run me pretty ragged. And if you're wondering what this spot is right here, that was meatloaf at lunch today. <laughs> so, so, nevertheless, uh, Again, I thank you and be safe. Get home every night. God bless you for all you do. Thank you.